this is going to be a tutorial on endorphin, a quick tutorial on just the basics, just to get somebody started. Um, I'm toying around with it, like some of the basic controls, rotating around your character and all this, and using the camera. Uh, if you, you know, if you're familiar with these actions, just move on to the other tutorials, I'd say. But to get started here, you start off with your basic character in the middle of the screen. Um, you can hold your mouse wheel in and rotate around them, left, right, up, down. In the bottom right here is your key button of the program, Simulate. And uh, right now, you press it and your guy just simulates, or he just buckles under his own uh, weight because we haven't added anything for him to do. We haven't told him to go in any poses. We don't have any other objects for him to interact with. So off, right off the start, he'll just fall under his own weight. Um, you have your play button here and play in reverse here. Um, you know, one frame at a time, you could go forward, backwards, you could go to the beginning or to the end, and this will clear your frames here. So again, hold your mouse wheel, rotate, scrolling your mouse wheel will zoom in and out. And up here are your basic uh, buttons here. This will, these buttons refer to your whole character. This is the move and rotate. Move, click on them and use these little handles here um, to move them left to right, up, down. Um, they, they coincide with the, the axis here, you can see. But um, one problem is if you move him too far, you'll see he's gone and you can't get your little handles back and you'll probably get pretty frustrated. And um, if you move him really far, you can zoom out, but like, you know, it gets to a certain point. So uh, what you do is you'll click this button, cam camera tracking up in the top right, and it'll focus in on whatever you have selected. In this case, it's the person. So we click that and it zooms in right on. Now when we rotate, it goes around your little character. When we move them, the camera sticks on them. So you're going to want to keep that in mind. Um, rotate, same thing, but it'll be rotating his whole body, whichever direction you want. You know, um, Control Z will undo whatever you want to undo, or right here is undo this button. Scale, you don't have to worry about right now. That doesn't you can't use it on a person. It only refers to these objects here, like mass inclusion objects. This button, though, you really want to get used to these, both of these, pose, rotate, and pose, move. Pose, move, if you click on a, these refer to certain body parts, like just little pieces, like their fingertips. We select their fingertips, and we move it down, and it'll just move his hand down, or up, or left, or right. Uh, rotate, same thing, you could click his bicep, and rotate it, bring it forward, backwards. Uh, you can drag over his whole body and rotate his torso. And if you want to undo everything or start over again, you click this button. It'll put him back in that T pose, like the reset pose button. Um, this button next to it will add characters, or you know, if you would do wrestling scene fights and you probably want more people, so click one, click OK, and it'll create another guy here next to him. Um, and these are mass objects, inclusion objects. Those are for, you know, more complicated scenes. We, let's say we create a mass object. You got the cylinder. Just, you know, just like you move your character, you want to click on just the move or rotate buttons and rotate your little cylinder around. Move, we'll pick it up. Now the difference is between mass objects and collision objects are mass objects are susceptible to simulation. The fall, gravity will take effect. Um, there it goes. Whereas with a, a, a collision object, they only have one job, and that's for things to run into it. That's it. Collide. Um, they aren't. They aren't uh, vulnerable to uh, simulations. They'll hold that spot in air the whole time, while all the mass objects will fall around it. Now, as I said, though, their job is to collide with stuff. So if we take a mass object and we'll put it up and above the, uh, the collision object. When we simulate, you'll see the mass object will hit it and then fall off. That's when you make a ring or a scene or whatever wrestling ring you want it all to be made out of it. Uh, collision objects. That way your, your, your people, your, your wrestlers, will hit the ring and fall and like land on the, the canvas. Whereas if you made it out of a mass object, once you hit simulate, your whole ring would fall apart, just like this little cylinder. Uh, your ring ropes would fall to the ground, you know, your uh, turnbuckles would fall, your ring posts would probably fall over. Um, so anyway, those are the bare bones just to get you started. Biggies are 
rotating with the mouse wheel, zooming in and out, uh, camera tracking, no matter what you click on, though, it'll focus, and that's great. Um, so you won't lose anybody, um, and it'll follow it throughout the simulation. So that's just getting started, the basics. You can make some simple scenes, and uh, next tutorial we'll get, we'll get uh, familiar with active posing and constraints and force events and all these up here. So just start tinkering around for now and get used to the, the movement, the pose move and the normal move and the rotate and all that and uh, check out the next tutorial. He's a goat, he's a god, he's a man, he's a guru. Your one microscopic cog in his catastrophic plan designed and